On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what uh, go on? A blessed and wonderful Tuesday evening to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side. So we have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please, like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So watch us now my peeps, we're gonna kick it off with some international stories coming out of Toronto in Canada where these two criminal elements on your screen one identified as Debbie Jones age 42 to the left of the screen and to the right Ricardo Manuel Bailey 35 years old on the right of the screen they are both wanted for a second degree fatal knockings and clappings in Toronto, Canada. So the Toronto police is presently searching for these two suspects in connection with the fatal knockings and clappings of a man in North York in late September. So the incident in question happened on the 30th of September at a plaza on the northwest corner of Jane Street and Lawrence Avenue West. So the Toronto police stated that they attended that knockings and clapping scene sometime around 7.30 a.m. that morning. The officers found a man who had been conned up by these two criminal elements. The victim in question has since been identified as 42-year-old Anthony McBean, presently on your screen, said to be also of a Toronto address. He was pronounced, you know what, same place on the scene. He was Toronto's 66 fatal knockings and clappings to the hands of criminal elements for this year. Now, in a release on Monday, Investigators identified the two suspects and they believe that they are responsible for the homicides. So Ricardo Manuel Bailey, age 35, and Debbie Jones, age 42, are now both wanted for the fatal knockings and clappings of 42-year-old Anthony McBean. Bailey is described as having a thin built and shaved head whilst the female Jones, Debbie Jones, has a medium built and dark hair. The police stated that both suspects should be considered armed and dangerous and it is believed that they may have fled to our dearly beloved island home, Jamaica. So the police are asking anyone with any information to contact them at 416-808-7400 or Crime Stoppers Anonymously. So anybody in the diaspora, yard or abroad, we have any information surrounding the whereabouts of these two criminal elements, please alert the Canadian authorities. And as always, if you wish to pass it on to On The Spot News Media, I will definitely pass that information through the proper channels to get these two criminal elements off our nation's streets. Yeah, man. So back to local style, you know. Now I'm going to give you know, a quick update on a particular knockings and clappings that I spoke about in this morning's vlog. I'm speaking about the fatal knockings and clappings of this criminal element here presently on your screen, identified as Samik Stevens. He's known in the criminal underworld as Brown Man or Ghost. So some additional information to the vlog this morning. You need to go back and watch the vlog there so you can get that information there and tie it in with this one. So in regards to his knockings and clappings, new information has arised also surrounding it. 
the information is saying that this brother here go eat a food in the streets with some other man and the food never share up good so some man up in them feelings about the loot it is also stated that a knockings and clappings did go on in a porous in recent times and he was also mentioned as one of the knockings and clappies in that particular shooting the friend that i made mention of this morning and stated that hey is a can catch quacko catch him shot type of dealings good i reach him that too is also in full effect because that friend Derek Bernard Kelsey is a known knackis and clappis and rival gang members want to nyam him food and broke the plate. So right now it seemed as if Shamik Stevens bite off a little bit more than Wayne can chew this time and clam 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 him food get nyam. Shut eye control and settings was the order of the day. Now over there in the troubled war tour in a crime riddle the Kingston Central Police Division, an 18 year old student was on Monday charged for a double fatal knockings and clappings that occurred at the intersection of North and Orange Streets in downtown Kingston a little more than two weeks ago. Now the student who was charged has since been identified as 18 year old Evry Smith but more popularly known in the criminal underworld as Giant, said to be of an upper Oxford Street address in Kingston 14. He was charged following an intense investigation by members of the major investigation division. Now the criminal element Everest Smith is charged with two counts of fatal knockings and clappings and also possession of prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition. He is charged with the fatal knockings and clappings of Gennaro Mitchell, otherwise known as Dante, and also the fatal knockings and clappings of a 21-year-old identified as Donald Walters Jr., otherwise known as Danto. Both are said to be from the Dumfries Street area in Denham Town. So the incident occurred sometime around 7.50 a.m. on Tuesday, October 22nd. The police stated that they received reports that Mitchell and Walters was walking along the roadway when two men armed with handguns approached them and opened gunfire. The men were conned up several times and the criminal elements fled. The injured men were taken to the nearby Kingston Public Hospital where doctors on duty pronounced them, you know what. Now following the investigations, Smith was also charged whilst in custody at Metcalf Street Juvenile Remand Centre following a question and answer interview in the presence of his attorney. He was also positively identified by a witness on a video identification parade conducted on Monday, November 4th, 2024. I also covered that particular fatal knockings and clappings extensively in a vlog in the latter part of October where Gennaro Mitchell aka Dante was named as the intended target for that double fatal knockings and clappings. Yeah man. And still in the Kingston Central Police Division, a 39 year old Uber driver was arrested on suspicion of possession of a prohibited weapon in downtown Kingston on Saturday night. Now sometime around 8.30 p.m. personnel from the Kingston Central Police reportedly stopped and searched a Honda card motor vehicle driven by the suspect. It is said that during the search a 9mm Browning pistol affixed with a magazine was discovered. The driver of the vehicle was arrested. The Kingston Central Criminal Investigation Branch is presently probing the matter. So people, we don't have to be careful because this brother is said to be 
a registered Uber driver. Poor me, I tell you. The thing rough. Now over there in the troubled war tour in a crime riddle, the St. Andrew's South Police Division. The St. Andrew's South Police is presently investigating the knockings and clappings which caused serious injury of an elderly man along Maxfield Avenue earlier yesterday evening. Now the man is said to be 63 years of age. I will not speak his name because luckily for him, he's still among the land of the living. So according to reports from the police, gunshots rang out sometime shortly after 7 p.m., causing bystanders to scatter for safety. Gunmen reportedly opened fire on patrons gathered at a local shop and bar in the area. Following the attack, the injured man was promptly transported to the Kingston Public Hospital for treatment. The St. Andrew's South Police has launched an investigation into that particular knockings and clappings. The incident took place at vicinity 51 Maxfield Avenue. The knockings and clappings, I tell my peeps, continues. Yeah, man. So anyway, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast. On the spot, news media. Yeah, man.